hello friends this is durga again and uh, as part of uh, um, hadoop application development using uh, uh, java based map reduce apis so far we have seen several things we started with uh, a simple map reduce program with default behavior and then uh, we understood uh, different uh, uh, types of classes that are part of uh, map reduce apis one is uh, the input output formats key and value types and uh, and also we have seen some deep deeper details also like hash partitioner etc and then uh, after completing the record count uh, map reduce application um, we have also seen uh, how we can run it in the cluster as part of the last video and in this video we will try to evaluate the counters information which is generated after the job is completed so the main the three main uh, components of the counters are file system counters job counters and map reduce framework so when you actually go to the file system counters it is all about io it tells you how much data is being read how much data is being written and uh, how much data is being read from hdfs and how much data is written to hdfs so for example it read almost like 350 mb of data from hdfs but uh, from file system it is much more than that um, because uh, it has to do some internal uh, uh, operations and uh, it can alleviate the amount of io that needs to be done at file system level but at hdfs level it's only 360 mb which is close to our file size and then number of bytes written we are just getting count it's a very small uh, output and it is only 15 bytes so this gives how much data is being read and how much data is being written to hdfs and also on the file system then uh, the next very important is job counters and you can see that launched map task it is saying 3 why it is saying 3 because there is a concept of uh, split size when it comes to executing uh, map reduce applications and that split size is by default uh, equal to block size of our uh, um, of hdfs so when when we actually uh, store a file in hdfs there are two important parameters which i have covered in hdfs briefly one is block size and second one is replication factor and by default that block size is 128 mb and uh, uh, and also when we invoke the map reduce application the number of map tasks by default will be equivalent to the number of blocks of the file as we have three blocks for the file as we have reviewed uh, using hdfs ffck command as part of the last video uh, the map tasks are three because we are not overriding anywhere to increase the split size if we increase the split size the number of maps can be uh, lesser and i will cover more details about split uh, in uh, next video and then uh, uh, launch it reduce task is one because we are using count operation and one reduce task is enough and even if you do not specify by default it will use only one uh, in in typical hadoop cluster in some environments where we use hortonworks or cloudera framework depending upon the size of the cluster the number of reduce tasks can be greater than 1 it is the artificial intelligence built into the uh, uh, hortonworks or cloudera framework uh, sorry cloudera platform and typically they misjudge the number of reduce tasks so it is your responsibility to understand uh, how the reduce uh, uh, reducers should be determined while running the job for count it should be 1 and i will be talking about determining the number of reducers very soon okay and then it has uh, cpu and uh, uh, io related information for job jobs also uh, for both cpu and io here it talks about the time so it's all about total time spent by all maps reducers map tasks reduce tasks and also week or seconds is again uh, uh, giving the cpu time in seconds and megabyte seconds is io time in seconds and uh, this information might not mean uh, anything to begin with but it is very important information which you can look at when actually you are doing the performance tuning 
so for now you can uh, uh, overlook these things but it is very important to understand over time and observe these values whenever you are trying to play around uh, to uh, to fine tune the performance of your MapReduce application but this information you should understand uh, uh, as quickly as possible and I will cover those things very soon and map tests are related to split size by default split size and block size are same and depending upon the number of blocks map tasks will be created and we will talk about split, uh, split size in detail very soon similarly reduced tasks should be determined by based upon the data behavior and uh, the developer is the best judge uh, to determine the number of reduced tasks and he has to make sure that the logic is built as part of the map reduce application itself and then next very very important information is map reduce framework and in this um, it will tell you how many records are being read by map by map task and how many records is being written out of map task so in this case we have 272 million uh, uh, sorry 27 million records being read from the map mapper and the output records are 27 million records and uh, the input records are like our deck uh, our each of the deck like uh, uh, red spade to which is color sweet and pip and output records as we are dealing with row count and if you look at the mapper logic it is all about uh, emitting uh, emitting count comma one as part of our record mapper logic as part of our record count map reduce application so this 27 million uh, uh, 262976 output records are all count comma ones and then uh, uh, there is another important co concept called combine and uh, uh, i will explain why it should be used very soon uh, but if the combiner is not used the reduced input records will be same as map output records in this case it is same and uh, then another important uh, uh, metric of reduced input is groups so in our case the groups is only one because we have only one unique key which is being emitted out of uh, mapper that is count the literal count uh, that's why the input group says one but within that one group we have all ones in the array which is 27 million 262 records so if you go back to the if you go back to this picture uh, for count program you will see only one bucket um, because the number of reducers uh, even if you give more than one and the mod value will only always be one value so it will be only one bucket and by the time the uh, out uh, uh, that uh, the map output reaches to the reducer it will be all count comma array of ones and the number of ones are 27 million 262,976 so that's what reduce input records means and the reduce output records is just a count of all the records which is the value 27 million 262,976 which we have reviewed so by looking at this information itself we can uh, uh, determine whether our program is running as expected or not not only from functionality purpose but also from performance purpose and we will understand those details as we talk more and more details about these things so let's think about the uh, card count by suite in this case uh, the map input records will be 27 million map output records will be 27 million because for each record you have to give the key as well as uh, uh, value uh, like this but when it comes to reduce input groups it will be four because we have four unique keys uh, spade heart club and diamond and uh, reduce input records will be 27 million 262,976 records it is cumulative of all uh, 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 all number of values in all arrays so we have four uh, four key and array of values and if you add all those uh, a number of values in all four arrays uh, for each key it will be you know, 27 million 262,976 records and then uh, when it comes to reduce output record we are trying to get the count by suite so there will be four records which will be emitted and which will be stored as part of the HDFS and uh, 
and then we have seen uh, uh, in uh, eclipse itself that it creates two files and one file got spared comma number of records and then other file got club diamond heart because the keys will be sorted when it reaches the uh, respected reducer if there are multiple uh, keys within the partition the, uh, and, uh, those uh, those uh, uh, reducer input groups will be sorted as part of the shuffle and sort process and then uh, and th these are the main uh, uh, main counters which you need to look look for map input map output you have to look into combine input combine output also in this case it is not relevant for now but we will see very soon what combiner is and how it can be relevant even for this record count program and then uh, reduce input records and reduce output records which are very 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 important and then one more very important metric is cpu time spent uh, cpu time spent is uh, not the execution time in in a cluster where the um, where the uh, the processing happens in distributed fashion cpu time spent can be much higher and the execution time can be lower so cpu time spent if it is higher doesn't mean that it is very bad or if it is lower also doesn't mean that it is run effectively so you need to understand uh, how uh, the cpu time spent and the execution time uh, will uh, are actually using the resources in the cluster then only we will be able to determine whether uh, it, the job is running effectively or not. Don't worry about this at this time. We will talk about that as we uh, run into, as we look into more complex programs. And eventually I will run these programs in uh, a bigger cluster and try to explain uh, uh, all those details uh, that you need to keep in mind at that time. And again, uh, here it will say how much data is being read from HDFS and how much data is being written to HDFS. That being said, uh, uh, this is how you should uh, uh, look into the uh, output that is being generated, uh, the counters that is being generated as part of the output when we run the MapReduce application. And uh, it is very important to understand this. That being said, uh, we will wrap up for now as part of the next video we will look into the split size um, and how it will control the number of map tasks that is being created and also how can we determine the reduced tasks and also what is the relevance of combiner uh, very soon that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel i will be covering not only hadoop but uh, our big data but many other technologies over time so if you like the content of my channel please like the uh, uh, please click on the like button of that particular video and if you want to post a comment or provide feedback or ask any technical question about a particular video please leave it in the comment section of that video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so thank you bye